ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we are in Lichota in Migori County. Like I told you, there's an upgrade that we've done in this house, uh, changing the batteries from gel batteries to lithium ion batteries. We've also added uh, another inverter and also added some panels. So there are a number of reasons that uh, one can decide to go lithium. One, lithium ion batteries are long lasting. So we're talking about 25 years plus. Unlike other gel batteries or uh, uh, lead acid batteries whereby you have a few years. Gel batteries, you can take uh, so many years. So just the lifespan of the solar panels can run concurrently with the lifespan of the uh, lithium ion battery. So let me go uh, with you guys and take you to where we have done the upgrade. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, on this garage we have 24 panels uh, whereby 8 panels are going to uh, each inverter. So we have 3 inverters of 5 kVA each. Uh, the solar panels are 360 watts. So we're going inside the garage so that you can see the whole setup. So viewers, these are the gel batteries that uh, we removed and uh, upgraded them with uh, lithium ion batteries. So they are 12 pieces, 200 AH each. So I'm taking you now to where we're having the new battery bank. So, like I had said, we have five uh, Weco batteries, lithium ion batteries. Uh, each is 5.3 kilowatt hour. Uh, so, we're having five of them. So, viewers, we are having the first battery as a master and it is controlling the other four. So this is a battery that is communicating to our master uh, inverter, which is this one here. This is our master inverter that is communicating to the master battery and the master battery is communicating to the rest of the uh, batteries. The master inverter is communicating to the rest of the inverter so we have a uh, slave one inverter and slave two inverter then we have the master so with the batteries we are having master battery slave one slave two slave three and slave four so this is a configuration that we've done remember i'd say that we have 24 solar panels from the roof so eight solar panels are going here eight are going here eight are going here and through the use of the master uh, the algorithm is such that uh, they cannot overcharge these batteries so they work in tandem with each other to make sure that this battery bank is fully charged and it it is also charged properly So this is the main battery fuse for the entire uh, battery bank. Viewers again, uh, we also have a remote monitoring kit for the batteries, this one here. And we also have a remote monitoring kit for the inverters, this one here. All of them are Wi-Fi enabled, meaning that uh, the owner, the client, and also uh, the engineers are able to monitor this system from anywhere in the world.
viewers like i said earlier you are able to monitor this system and uh this is what you are able to see on your screen when you log in into the system so i'm um, using this laptop uh, to show you what is happening so we're logging in the master uh, battery and see what is happening so the master battery is giving us the following so we are having the first so we are having the master battery as you can see it's written there master so it is at 80 percent state of charge 81.2 percent state of charge then we go to the slave one slave one uh the state of charge is 79.6 then we have slave two the state of charge is 78.4 then we have slave three the state of charge is 78 percent then slave four the state of charge is 79.2 so viewers uh, this is the dashboard that you'll be seeing when you log into into your system from anywhere in the world because we are having this system uh, having a remote monitor so as you can see uh, this is a master battery we have slave one slave two slave three and slave four So viewers among the loads that that system is powering, uh, we are having this poultry house. We are having the guest wing. We are having the garage. We have the main house. We have the servant quarters. This is the front wing of the main house. We have the perimeter lights and the security system of the whole compound uh, including these cameras then we have a 230 borehole that has been sunk here and all the pumps that supply water in the main house the guest wing over there and the servant quarters behind so all these systems are running on our system all these motors and pumps are running on that system so ladies and gentlemen you have uh, a problem with electricity uh, the utility is not reliable in your area welcome to power the solar and we are able to do isolation like the one that you've seen in this compound thank you very much and welcome